turn with me to Matthew 18. I want to show you something here. Surely I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. I want to ask you, let's be honest, is it easy to keep the unity? Is there some people that it's very difficult for you to keep the unity with them? You want to come in agreement with them. You want to make sure you can pray and agree and God will do it. But sometimes it's just difficult. That's why I love Peter so much. You know, Peter was just a guy that put his foot in it every time. Look here what he says in verse 21. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times. You know what he was saying? He was saying, I'm really trying to keep the unity with this brother. I'm really, I hear what you've said, and you've said I'm the rock, and you're going to build the church upon it, and I have to move things for you. But just tell me, if I'm not trying to keep the unity with Brother Victor Mabunda here, and he's making it difficult for me, how many times should I forgive him? Seven times, Lord? Is that spiritual enough? The Lord says, no. Seventy times seven. Do everything and anything you can to keep the unity with this brother. Hello? Amen. Do you have people that you have forgiven seven times and you've now said it's enough? Amen. <laughs> Don't raise your hand. <laughs> God is saying, Peter, listen to me. Your seven times that you're trying to be spiritually and say that you are trying to keep the unity, make it 70 times seven endeavor a matter of fact the one translation says i plead with you to keep the unity Amen. offenses is the one thing that breaks unity the quickest Amen. hello Amen. if you can have a mindset of christ focusing on a christ culture it's easy to keep unity Amen. hello the world wants us to focus upon language, upon all these things. But God has made us one in the Spirit. I'm going to show you now what the Word of God says. You know, I ask these kind of questions. I'm a very practical guy when it comes to the Gospel. If I think, how, how should I do something in the church? How should it work in the church? I immediately think, how should it work in my family? Because God says, if the elder can rule his house well, he'll rule the church well. It's not very complicated. If I wonder how I should behave towards God, it's very easy. The Bible says, husband and a wife, Christ and the body of Christ. Hello? So as a husband, if you wonder how you should behave towards your wife, just ask yourself, how do you want Christ to behave or respond towards you? Amen. Do you want Christ to be harsh with you? Give you no grace? Then give your wife a little bit of grace. Hello? It's not that difficult. Jesus Christ, the body of Christ, the husband, and the wife. How should the wife behave towards her husband? There you know how you should behave towards Christ. Give him respect, honor him, love him. Hello? Amen. Oh, that was very quiet. <laughs> Am I disturbing the unity here? <laughs> yes. The Bible is very practical. Amen. Amen. So I want to know, how do I keep the unity? Well, you know, let me just say this. The Bible also says that if you know of people that continue to cause division, mark them. Amen. Yes. Yes. So yes, let's protect the unity, but if there's people that want to cause division the whole time, the Bible says, mark that man after the first and second warning. Say, so this is now the first, brother, you are deliberately causing division here. You know, everybody makes mistakes, so, but when it comes to division, God says, I'm giving you two chances. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10. Now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing. And that there be no divisions among you. All speak the same thing. In other words, we are going to build this church. 
Let all of us say the same thing. If there's not unity, a matter of fact, the Bible says a house divided, a city divided against itself cannot stand. Amen. So if this block is saying that way and this block is saying that way, we will not stand. Let's say the same thing. We be well able. If you are facing a tough time and it feels like everything is falling apart, agree then that God is good. And if somebody asks you something, let that be your confession. God is good. Hello? Not all these other negative things that we want to say and confess and declare. 2 Corinthians 13, 11. Finally, brethren, farewell. Become complete. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Think the same. Look here, Titus 3.10. Reject a divisive man after the first and second admonishment. Warning. If somebody is causing divisions, mark them. Hello? God doesn't want us to live a life where there's division, where there's disagreement, where there's contention the whole time. Amen? Amen. You know why God is so serious about this? Because it's His body. I cannot chop off this hand. I cannot chop off this hand and take it to another place. If I chop off this hand, it's gone. The body will recover, but that hand is lost. Hello? That's why God hates division. People splitting churches. God hates it. A matter of fact, it's a spiritual law. Somebody that splits a church, you can sit back and keep your eye on that church. You'll see that church will go through church split after church split after church split. Because that is how the man started his church. By splitting a church. That's the first seed that he's planting is the vision. You can keep your eye on this. You'll always see fighting. Then they split again. Then this pastor will say, no, you know, I'm now the senior pastor. I'll raise... Hello? Amen. As a matter of fact, the Bible says you cannot build on another man's foundation. You cannot build on another man's foundation. Amen. You don't do that. It's, you're, you're violating a spiritual law in the Bible. That's why you have to protect the unity. Amen.